This video will show you how to install the Absorbag moisture control units in a shipping container. Always inspect the condition of the container before loading. Do not load a container that has cracks in the floor, bad door gaskets, holes in the walls, or roof. Check the condition from the inside with the doors closed. If any light is seeping in, so will humid air. If any of these conditions exist, request a better container before loading. If you ship dry cargo, we also recommend that all ventilation holes be closed with tape. Use plastic electrical tape or duct tape and tape from the inside. You should also tape any small holes or cracks in the wall panels unless you can get the container replaced. If you ship moist cargo, we recommend that the ventilation holes be left open. The APSER bag is designed to hang in the loops located at the top of the container wall panels. We recommend that you install the APSER bag units before you load cargo. Only remove an APSER bag unit from its package when you are ready to install it. APSER bags are packed 12 units to a box. They are either individually packaged in a plastic bag or bulk packed in one plastic bag. If the APSER bag is individually lined, Cut open the outer clear plastic bag at the blue hook end. Be careful not to cut into the white plastic bag. If the APSER bags are bulk packaged and are not all used, be sure to close the clear plastic bag in the box. Begin by unfolding the APSER bag. Next, twist the hook off from the back of the APSER bag and fit it on the back, that is the non-printed side by pushing it up in the slots until you hear a click. Use a step ladder to hang the APSER bag by placing the hook onto the steel loop above the corrugations on the wall panels of the container. Pull down on the hook until the hook is all the way down on the loop. Open up the lower part of the APSER bag by pushing the sides together. This will allow the salt water brine to drip into the bottom half of the APSER bag. Make sure the wall surface is clean. Then remove the paper covers from the sticky pads on the back of the APSER bag. Press the APSER bag onto the wall, using the two sticky pads on the back to secure the APSER bag to the steel panel. Gently press the sides of the lower part of the APSER bag again to assure that the salt water brine can drip into the bottom half of the APSER bag. The number of APSER bag units needed for a container shipment depends on the type of cargo and size of the container. For dry cargo, like steel, aluminum, and copper products, loaded into a 20-foot container, use 4 to 8 APSER bag units. For moist cargo, like agricultural products, loaded into a 20-foot container, 8 to 12 APSER bag units are recommended. For dry products, loaded onto a 40-foot container, use 8 to 12 APSER bag units. For moist cargo, loaded into a 40-foot container, 12 to 20 APSER bag units are recommended. Install the recommended number of APSER bag units evenly along both sides of the container. You are now ready to load the cargo. Remember, when loading cargo, make sure to leave about a 4-inch space, 100 millimeters, between the cargo and the sidewalls. Do not load cargo higher than about 5 feet, 1,500 millimeters from the floor. ABSER bag works better where there is 15 inches to 20 inches, 400 to 500 millimeters of free space between the ceiling and the cargo. This spacing will allow the salt in the upper part of the APSER bag units to effectively absorb any moisture in the container during its voyage. These installation instructions are also shown on the back of the APSER bag technical data sheet. To remove the APSER bag units after you have unloaded the cargo, simply unhook each unit from the loop at the top of the sidewall panels. Keep each unit upright until the liquid can be drained outside the container. Dispose of the APSER bag units according to your company's waste disposal procedures. The APSER bag units are made from recyclable PE plastics. Thank you for following the proper APSER bag installation procedures.